So now we're going to fill the actual procedure of the lesson plan out itself. We mentioned at the start, the first thing we do is to get some general information about the class that we'll be teaching. And then, in order for someone to be able to cover our lesson, we need to present enough information in our lesson plan that they can actually carry it out. What I'm going to do is for each stage of the lesson, I'll indicate what I'm going to do in the lesson, and then we'll cut away from that to have a look to see how that will actually be achieved. So our lesson is going to be based on a 45 minute lesson. And the first phase is going to be the engage phase, and it's going to be a straight arrow ESA lesson. I'm going to take approximately five minutes on my engage phase. And in the interaction box, what I'm going to do is to put down what I think is going to be the major overall interaction during that particular part of the lesson. There are three choices that we can use in this particular one. Either the students will be talking mainly to the teacher, the teacher will be talking mainly to the students, or the students will be talking to each other. For my particular plan, the students on the whole will be talking to me. So, what am I going to do in my engage phase? I'm going to ask the question, what are you doing right now to generate the subject-verb agreements between a number of different subjects and their verbs? So, to cut away from that, if we imagine that we went around the class asking various people, what are you doing right now? Then we may generate some sentences that could possibly look like this. So, John says, I am listening to you. Kate says, I am sitting. What I can then do is to ask another member of the class, OK, what is John doing? But you can't use his name. So I may get the answer. And what is Kate doing? And you cannot use her name. What I could then ask the students is, OK, could you give me another example of using this with somebody else? And I can then ask them, what are both Kate and this other person doing without using their names? So I get an answer like that. So, ask the question, what are you doing right now? And I get a number of subject and verb agreements for that particular thing using these sets of verbs here. And we can then move on from that to the study phase. 